Hey guys, Vracha, welcome to my channel 3D Video Gaming World that offering you a complete guide about how to develop a 3D game from scratch, including all the Unity concepts, scripting, and integration of both these fields. I'm making this tutorial on request from one of you that how to add the ads into the Unity project. Ads are actually of different kinds. Some ads are just pictures. They are called interstitial from the ad mode and some are video ads with the Unity logo. These are known as Unity ads and some of the rewarded videos also refer to as video ads. But we can't skip them. So before wasting time, let's get started that how to integrate the ads into your Unity project. Open your Unity project. Now before selecting the project, you need to sign in with your Unity account or any of your professional account from which you are going to upload your game. And open your project. Now step number 2 is open the Assets tool. Click on Windows and go to Assets tool. In Asset Store, search for Unity Ads Plugin. Asset Store, as I already discussed, contains each and everything you want. So the plugins that are required to integrate the ads into your Unity project are also built in available into the Asset Store. Go to Easy Unity Ads. If you never downloaded it before, then there will be a download button. Click onto the download button and download this plugin. As I already downloaded, so the import button is here. Click onto the import button to import the plugins into your project. Click on import. Close your asset store. Now this next step is to enable the test mode. If you did not on your test mode, then there will be a chances of account suspend because of some multiple clicks. So make sure to on the test mode while checking your ads. Click on Windows and go to Services. Into the Services tab, you need to create an organization. I selected Instable it and click on Create. To enable the test mode, go to this Ads tab, click on Off button to on it. Enable the monetization. And click on Continue. Now check this box to enable the test mode. Go to Advance. And make sure that this enable built-in ads extension should be checked. Now the test mode has been enabled. Close this tab. Place your ads where you want and check it. Is it work or not? The step number 4 is to place the ads and check that either they are working or not. Now to place the ad into your project. First of all, right click in hierarchy. Create an empathy object. Name it as Ads Manager. Now create your own scripts to place the ads. Right click Create New C Sharp Script Named as My Ads Placement. Double click on the script. Zoom in the script by holding the control key and, sc and scroll the mouse button. Remove this update method and start method 2. Now Unity has a namespace advertisement that contains all the definitions of advertisement functions. So let's include the advertisement namespace by using Unity Engine dot advertisements.
create a start method before testing the ad you need to initialize it and we will done it into the start function so in the start function write advertisement dot initialize method that contain the string parameters and in this string you will place the id of your unity ad the unity ads are mostly in digits let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 or anyone else now let's assume i have a button Double click on the button. There you go. I want that on button click the Unity ad will initialized and loaded. How I will do that? Public void. my unity ad and wherever you want to call the unity ad you have to write advertisement dot show now pass this method onto the button on click function and when you click the button the unity call will automatically initialized and tested First of all, you have to add the my ad placement script on any of the game objects. So let's say this is an empty object ads manager and place the my ads placement into the ads manager. Go to button on click function. Pass the reference script. And from function, let's select my ad placement script and a method my unity ad. Save the project and run. Now when you click the button, the ad will be called that is the unity ad that contains skip button and close button. So you can close or skip to skip the ad and work normally. Now if you want to add the second button, that will play the rewarded video on click. Let's create its function. Go to scripts. Make sure to disable the play mode. Now let's create another method of public void um, my rewarded video. Now write advertisement dot show and in this double code pass the ID of your rewarded video. In case of mine, it is rewarded video. Save the script, go to Unity tab. Add another button into the canvas UI button button 2. Let's name it as rewarded similarly on the on click function pass, pass the ads manager reference and from my ad placement select my rewarded video save your project and play to check once you click this button a unity ad will play containing skip and close button when you click on this rewarded button a video will be played without any skip button you have to watch the complete video till the end 
That is actually the main difference between Unity ad and the rewarded video ad. Let's check it out. Click onto the button. The Unity ad is shown containing skip and close button. Let's skip it. And when you click onto the rewarded video button, video will be shown without any skip button. Close this video. And in this way, our rewarded video and Unity ad video is working quite properly. I hope this tutorial helped you to learn that how to place the Unity ad or rewarded video ad into your project using your Google Play Store while using testing mode on. Close the play mode. Let's revise and wrap the steps that we have used during this process. Number 1. Create your project. Number 2. Login with your ID. That may be a Google Play ID or your Unity ID. Number 3. Go to the services and on the test mode. Number 4. Place the ads using advertisement namespace wherever you want. Thank you for watching today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up and turn the notifications on. Till next time, Allah Hafiz.